you know, case studies all have their own unique perspectives. Uh, the, the, the very nature of a case study is that it really drills down on who people are and what they're doing and why we showed up. And below you'll see a, um, a bullet pointed list of items about this particular uh, case study, which was in the music entertainment business. Something a little bit different, though I've had enough entertainment business to consider myself a semi-expert in it. Uh, this one was unique because it was a family, a family that over the last 12 years had uh, developed a real niche for themselves. And it was uh, unique in the sense that it was a religious but very upbeat uh, kind of music, uh, diverse, popular, and the people were wonderful. It was one of the nicest environments I'd had an opportunity to, to work with. And, and as, as I talk along, you'll get a, a sense of why. Um, however, they're, they're, they're big, one of their big challenges and, and one of the things that we've tried to focus on is their strengths and at the same time, how, how things are bumping along, not going along. And in this particular case, the big positive was it was a family, even though it was a big company, everybody felt like a family. And they also felt free to, to do the things they needed to do. And so things were going in a lot of directions and it was hard to you know, pull people together. And at the same time, it was causing a lot of resistance and stress. And so there was, I wouldn't say anger, but there was frustration going on in, in, a, in a way that it wasn't as productive as it needed to be. And so we came on board to help them, and I, and I decided that <clears throat> since this was such a family dynamic that I needed to pull that family together. And so I gave them a, a survey, an interview type uh, with all kinds of questions and some um, fill in the blanks as well as write what you need to talk about. And I normally interview people like when I do that, but in this particular case, I... I wanted to be a surprise. I wanted to be a bit of a surprise and I wanted to be part of the process and in many ways become part of that particular family. So it didn't look like I was, you know, spending too much time analyzing and finding out what we're doing wrong. We're doing this, to, you know, we're going to do this together. And it turned out to work really well. Um, in that particular day, people began to realize, you know, what was happening. And they began to realize that they weren't fulfilling their team responsibilities as much as they were filling what they thought were their responsibilities. And as we began to talk about it, I began to think about how do I, how do I resolve this? Do I talk them through it and tell them what to do and whatever? But then I decided and I realized that maybe, and I've never done this since, it just was one of those unique situations where the right tool just happened to come up. I suggested that they take two and a half hour presentations for each each of the departments, and there was about eight, seven or eight departments. So it took about two days to do, and two different days, I guess they, we did it one week and they did it the next week. And so these two hour presentations were to discuss everything they do in their office, in, the, in that particular department, and how do they add value to the percent, to the, to the business and to, to the other people, and to look at the, each of the other departments and let them know what they, they believed they were doing for those departments. Now, they didn't connect with every department, but those that they really did connect with. But at the same time, they needed to honor what the other departments were doing for them and to really talk about and thank each other about this. Now, it sounded a little hokey, but as it turned out, it really worked. I didn't have the opportunity to attend those, but when we got back together to talk about what would happen, and we, we did a one day retreat, bringing all that information together and being able to, to move it forward. It was the key ingredient. They needed to understand what others were doing and they needed to do it with a bit of heart because that's exactly where they were all coming from was their heart. Over the next year, they grew, they doubled in sales and you know, we spent a lot of time nurturing and hurting and shepherding and whatever, but we really didn't spend a lot of time doing our course correcting, cutting and whatever, we, we helped them do it because it was really clear they needed good practice in making that happen. It was a really nice success, not only from a, not only from a financial perspective, but from a team perspective and a family perspective. It was one of my favorites to do.